Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 10th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. We're going to start out here, always looking at our sun for the last 48 hours as it produced yet another M-class solar flare, another coronal mass ejection as well. If you haven't seen the earlier update, please check it out earlier today. Released some video footage. Having a look here, the last 48 hours, that active sunspot region getting ready to turn away. Plasma filament erecting and ejecting from the northwest limb in the last few images. I'm sure that created another CME. And as well, pretty complex system here getting ready to crest in. Very active sun as of late. We are experiencing a G2 geomagnetic storm as we speak. Not much of an aurora is expected for tonight, but the solar winds have definitely picked up as they are over 600 kilometers per second. Having a look here at our magnetosphere, this is our solar winds. As last night, it started hitting us at 666 kilometers per second. The solar expected solar storm hit us last night at about 10 p.m. and continues to do so. Space weather conditions right now currently 580 kilometers per second solar winds. Minor radio blackouts expected. Minor solar influx. And as well, G1, minor geomagnetic storm, they're saying now. Having a look at the solar x-ray flux, as you can see, another M-class solar flare today. Three, four in the past 48 hours. Solar proton flux right up there into the S2 range. Geomagnetic activity, our KP index was at five earlier today and kind of up and down as we are being hit by these solar winds. Quick look at LASCO 2 showing all of the last 48 hours of events taking off from our sun. As we did have a halo CME right there. And look at all that cosmic energy coming towards us, boy oh boy. Are we in for a ride for the next little bit? This solar storm is expected to hit 12th into the 13th of May. Having a look at the, look at the ISPWA space prediction spiral lately, showing a large CME taking off from the surface. Welcome everybody to the stream. Take a moment to say hello to everybody. Hello, Ruth Moore. Hello, Starry Aster. Hello, Teresa Payne. Hello, Caterlin. Hello, Rami Al Kalani. Hello, Daniel. Daniel Bast. Hello, his wife, their mom. Hello, Sandy Warden. Welcome everybody to the stream. Live update for you guys tonight. So earlier today, I did show you the latest CME that was taking off towards Mercury. We are set to get a glance and blow into the thirteenth, but just recently our sun produced another CME, so that's what is showing here now. And that's a backside CME. But space weather is a big deal right now. And at the same time, the correlation to earthquakes. Now you remember our last solar storm, we did get hit by a pretty big earthquake. But today, 7.6 earthquake, Tonga region, no tsunami expected. This was a very deep earthquake event, 230 kilometer depth. And that was after a pretty deep earthquake. Kermadec region looks to be about 400 kilometer depth. But we can always expect a larger and shallower earthquake to follow such a deep event through this region. And it ended up hitting just north there, Tonga region. Having a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, Papua New Guinea seeing a five pointer as well. Marianas Trench, activity up into Japan, activity all around Krakatoa here. 
in Sumatra. So heads up, we could have something erupting there with Anak Krakatoa. Deep earthquakes, northern Indonesia, the Philippines, as well as some activity today through Turkey. Pretty rare earthquake here, Bermuda. That's right, Bermuda saw a 4.5 earthquake this morning. Pretty sizable earthquakes here in through California, Baja, Mexico region, and as well up into Oregon. Give you a closer look here at USGS. As USGS is reporting about 250 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Slightly above average, just slightly. Got an earthquake up here in the northern region as well. What is that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Looks like Svalbard. But here is a closer look at USGS, and they're reporting 240 earthquakes in the map area. This is the last 24 hour period. So, slightly above average. Again, I want to welcome everybody to this stream. Thanks so much for hanging out and pressing that play button. This is a live update with daily events worldwide. So yeah, some earthquakes here, the Gulf of California, 4.6 to 4.7. Sorry about the technical difficulties here. Not. Uh, Laptop does not seem to be working as well as it used to. <laughs> so bear with me, folks. Yeah, we're going to wait. So what's that? Campo Pesquero, El Colorado, Mexico. As well, minor activity around Yellowstone today and westward into Utah. Pacific Northwest seeing minor activity as well. Oregon off the coast, 3.1 earthquake there, as well 2.1, Rose Lodge, Oregon. But no major swarms to talk about right now as we speak. But this is a pretty big event here with this two, just, <clears throat> just northeast of where this 7.6 earthquake was. There is a mountainous, huge submarine volcanic caldera just northeast of where this large 7.6 earthquake is and was reported. No tsunami expected with this large earthquake and it did not affect many people because this was out in the middle of the ocean. Tonga region right here. But look at the size of this. Oh man, look at the size of this caldera right here. That is a huge submarine volcano. Let's hope nothing else is waking up, kind of like the way the Hunga Tonga did just, what, less than two years ago. Also, I wanted to share with you today world weather. We're going to have a look here at windy.com. Showing the temperature graph here for the next little bit. Some pretty cool temperatures up through Alaska right now, but long range forecast, things are set to change here. Put this into motion, into Friday. Look at those temperatures rising up into Northwest Territories, Yukon, 23. But in the long range, it's gonna be even warmer Northern Alberta and BC, up to almost 30 degrees Celsius. So heat wave is expected here for the next little bit through parts of Western Canada, but Eastern Canada still being affected by highs and lows running out of the Hudson Bay area, keeping things pretty cool. Around the world, Things are really heating up in parts of Africa as well. You know, that's 40 degrees in some areas. 
going to be a long, hot summer, I think, folks. And just stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Let's have a look at what we're going to see for systems over the next little bit over North America. No cyclones, hurricanes are forecast for the next little bit, except for the cyclone that is heading towards Myanmar right now. That video was released a couple days ago. Still have a forecast of a cyclone hitting them. Hello, Donna Garcia. Welcome. Hello, Suzanne Marie. Welcome. Hello, Dean Hill. Good to see you. Santonado sit seeing hello mr tall in the philippines is heating up underneath yeah i agree and i've got a friend getting ready to go visit the tall volcano here really shortly so hopefully it stays intact having a look here at forecast models for the next little bit windy.com high pressure ridges moving in for the midweek into the 15th. Most of the low pressure systems are affecting eastern Canada and northward up into Greenland. But again, no major hurricanes or cyclones forming, except for this system heading into Myanmar. Again, I apologize for the slow laptop movement here. Waiting for cache. Need to get an upgrade, apparently. <laughs> Hello, Vicky Brooms. Welcome. Hello, Leonard Leachman. Welcome. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. 95 people watching. Can we get 90 likes in this premiere? Live update here with daily events worldwide. Again, thank you so much for tuning in today. I just can't, I can't keep up with this system right now for some reason. I don't know what's going on, everybody. I think my laptop's got a bug. All right, here we are. Having a look at tropical cyclone in the Bay of Bengal, getting ready to head towards Myanmar. Looks like it will be making landfall Saturday the 13th into the 14th. Other than that, no major weather concerns to talk about right now. Southern Hemisphere ramping up with some massive low pressure systems. One, two, three. And then look at these ones over here. Boom, boom, boom. These are massive, boys and girls. Get ready. Northern Hemisphere, hemisphere is going to do the same following season. Got some extreme weather building for the United States, Gulf states into Texas and Mexico, Saturday into Sunday. Hello, Bing. Hello, Deborah. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. 103 watching. Can we get 100 likes? We'll try to put this into motion. Stay tuned for a more detailed forecast tomorrow with the daily events worldwide, Daily Do. All right. Apparently, this is all my computer can handle right now. My laptop is going through some sickness problems. And I, I can't keep up with it. I don't know what's going on here. This is quite frustrating. Again, I apologize, folks. We'll have a more detailed forecast for weather tomorrow. Other than that, 7.6 earthquake. That's a big one. Hi, hi, fo, Tonga. No tsunami expected. But sizable CME is expected from our sun after it produced yet another M-class solar flare. Wow, we 120 people watching. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. Hello, Jack Snow. Welcome. 
Hello, Steve. Hello, Y. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. This is the end of this live update. Stay tuned for the regular streaming services here with daily events worldwide and stay tuned as we will re be reloading or re-uploading this little segment. Stay tuned. The premiere will be coming shortly. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Much love, everybody. Bye-bye now.